Hi kids, I am teacher Wilfred and welcome to grade 4 online class. Kids, after and before doing our daily activities, always wash your hands with soap and water or you may use alcohol to stay protected from any viruses. Before we start the class, kids, let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. O God Almighty, behold us, thy loving children, offering day to day our works and studies. Help us, dear Lord, to be obedient to our teachers, kind to our companions, diligent to our studies, that we may merit the blessings of ourselves, our school, and our beloved country, the Philippines. Amen. Kids, we are now in Quarter 1, Module 8, and our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. You have learned from the previous module how to multiply numbers up to 3 digits by up to 2 digit numbers without any with regrouping. In this module, you will encounter different problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money. You will solve these problems using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Always put yourself in each problem so that you can easily solve it. Enjoy and have fun solving. At the end of this module, you will be able to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Kids, let us determine how much already in the lesson by answering this activity. For letter A, solve each problem and choose the correct answer. Number 1. So Pilana Trading can sell 212 kilograms of rice a day. If a kilogram of rice costs 42 pesos, how much is the sales of Sopilana Trading in a day? Number 2. Annalyn saves 12 pesos from her daily allowance. How much did she save in 22 days? Number 3. Mrs. Rosario cooks Chopao and sells it online for an extra income. If she was able to sell 25 boxes to customers at 225 pesos per box, how much did she have? Number 4. The canteen of San Roque Elementary School has an average daily sale of 842 pesos. What is the monthly sale if there are 21 school days in a month? Number 5. The electric posts along straight road are 23 meters apart. If there are 12 electric posts, what is the distance from the first post to the last post? And for letter B, solve the following problems. Number 1. The Department of Health distributed 1,255 medicine, medicine kits to every town in a certain region. How many medicine kits will be distributed if there are 16 towns in that region? Number 7. A Sari Sari store can sell 100 or 1,525 bottles of mineral water in a month. If a bottle costs 15 pesos, how much is the sale of the Sari Sari store in a month? Number 8. T-shirts are sold on a buy one take one basis for 320 pesos. How much will you pay for 10 t-shirts? Number 9. In a fun run activity, the registration fee is 20 pesos. If there are 340 participants who registered, how much is the total collection for registration? And number 10, two workers can make 210 hollow blocks in an hour. How many hollow blocks can they make in 4 hours? Let us answer this another activity. Direction, find the product. Then write the corresponding letter on each product to solve the puzzle. I'll give you a few minutes to finish this activity. Kids, 
how much money does your mother give you every day for your allowance? Do you spend all or you save some amount? Why do we need to save? Our word problem for today is all about saving money. Let's read our word problem. Ruby receives from her mother the amount of 30 pesos as her daily allowance in school. She saves 5 pesos for her of her future expenses. How much does she save in a month if there are 21 school days? So this is an example of routine problem. Routine problems are problems that have solutions which can be immediately identified. Let us see if we have the same answer. To analyze and solve the problem, you can use these steps. For letter A, understand. Number one, read and understand the problem. Number two, know what is asked in the problem. So, what is asked in the problem is Ruby's savings in a month if there are 21 school days. Number three, find the necessary information. So these are the given facts. Five pesos, that is daily savings. And 21 pesos is number of school days in a month. So 30 pesos is not a necessary given fact because the focus is on savings, not monthly allowance. Or letter B, plan. Number one, determine the operation to be used. So we're going to use multiplication. Number two, write the number sentence. Our number sentence is 21 times 5 is equal to blank. Letter C, solve. Solve using the operation. So 21 times 5 is equal to 105. And letter D, check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. So you can also use a calculator to check. So Ruby saves 105 in a month. So this is how to solve routine problems. How about solving non-routine problems? Let's go on on the next example. Let's study the example and ask questions as necessary. Let us study this problem. In a school canteen, four students can sit in a square table. How many students can sit in five square tables placed end to end. You can solve by drawing a picture just like this. But kids, why do we need to solve non-routine problems? Solving non-routine problems develops your reasoning power. You can use the following strategies in solving non-routine problems. Listing, making a table, guess and check, diagram or drawing, and using pattern and then etc. So two end tables three times two is equal to six. Three students can sit. Three inside tables. Two times three is equal to six. Two, stu two students can sit. So twelve students can sit in five square tables placed end to end. What do you think is the best arrangement of the square tables such that more students may be seated and the square tables are still connected to each other? Let's see. We can solve this problem by making an illustration. We can arrange the tables by connecting a corner of a table to another corner, having a way that a table can still sit for students. Okay, let's start with the first table. On the first table, table, four students can still sit. 
On the second table, four students can still sit. On the third table, four students can still sit. On the fourth table, four students can still sit. And on the fifth table, four students can still sit. So therefore, the best arrangement of the square tables is corner to corner wherein four students can still sit. Now, you learn solving non-routine problems. This time, you are now ready for the activities. Let's go! For activity 1, solve the following problems. Show your solutions. Number 1. During weekends, Cedric and his friends collect plastic bottles and sell them to a junk shop. They collected 36 kilos of plastic bottles. How much they will receive if each kilogram costs 12 pesos? Number 2. The electric posts are 25 meters apart. If there are 10 electric posts, what is the distance from the first electric post to the last electric post? For assessment 1, solve the following problems. Number 1. A group of workers can make 830 pieces of shomai an hour. How many pieces of shomai can they make in 36 hours? Number 2. T-shirts are sold on a buy one take one basis. If one shirt can cost 120 pesos, how much will you pay for 10 t-shirts? Number 3. The 13 divisions of Dev and Bicol conducted a simultaneous earthquake drill. How many participants are there if each division has 920 participants each? Number 4. A square tile cost 45 pesos. Find the cost, ta cost to the tile word. Number 5. A raffle ticket costs 25 pesos. How much is the cost of 680 raffle tickets? How do you solve routine and non-routine word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate strategies and tools? To solve routine and non-routine involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate strategies and tools, follow these steps. First, understand. Know what is asked. Know the given facts. Second, plan. Determine the operation to be used. Write the number sentence. Third, solve. Use the operation to solve. And fourth, check and look back. Write the correct answer. Non-routine problems can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, making a table, and others. Now, let's solve another activities. For letter A, use the Nihus Canteen menu to answer the following questions. And for letter B, read, analyze, then solve. I'll give you a few minutes to finish these activities. Now kids, let us assess our lesson for today by answering this activity. Read, analyze, then solve each problem. Number 1. Mangustin earns 1,355 from his tricycle every week. How much will he earn in 10 weeks if the tricycle will be in good condition for the period given? Number 2. The DS family conserves electricity every day by turning off unused lights and appliances. Compared to their previous bill, they have saved 125 pesos. How much will they save if they continue conserving for 12 months? Number 3. A box of corned beef containing 36 cans is sold with 3 cans 3. Aling Belen bought 3 boxes for her Sari Sari store. How many cans of corned beef will she have? Number 4. A box of pencils cost 108 pesos. How much will you pay if you buy 12 boxes? Number 5. Con connecting 4 dots makes a square. If you add 2 more dots and connect them, you can make 2 squares. Given the condition, 
how many dots compose 10 such squares? Number 6. A barbershop haircut service costs 50 pesos. If there were 113 haircut services in that day, how much did the barbershop earn? Number 7. Kiko sells Sampagita garlands during weekends. Each Sampagita garland costs 8 pesos. How much will he have if he sold 150 pieces? Number 8. Roses are planted 3 meters apart. If there are 25 roses, what is the distance from the first rose to the last rose? Number 9. Strawberries from Baguio are sold for 350 per kilo. How much will a tourist pay for 15 kilos? And number 10, a printer can print 20 copies in a minute. How many copies can it print in 3 hours? And for our additional activities, solve the following problems. I'll give you a few minutes to finish this activity. That's all for today class. See you again!